everybody hopefully you can hear me and I've got no audio problems it looked okay in my settings um, another episode of Sherlock Holmes I think we did really well uh, last time um, so let's continue with the investigation of Montague Dunn or somebody at Kew Gardens so this should be quite fun Oh, continue. I keep forgetting None about that. The three people who down. work at Kew Gardens know why half of the colonial collection was cleared. So, someone is lying. It is obvious. Okay. So, we've just spoken to her. Uh, okay. So, we've got Toby. We've got lots of things. We've got dialogue options. We've got to research that in the archives. We've got to search that in the archives and we've got some speech options here. Right, okay. Uh, what's that one? New character portrait her. A bit strange, why? What have we got missing here? Okay. Right, uh... Poor Mr. Montague Dunn. It is so awful. Okay, so she's got nothing to add. So, plants, window open. Okay. Materials for college study. They belong to Albert. I was actually after the window, but okay, we'll, we'll set that. A book about ships. Nothing at all to do with plants. I think he got naval These history. leather gloves are new and of good quality. They do not appear to have been used. This place serves as Albert's office. Okay. Now, window. Over here, we are unable to see the interior of the colonial collection room. So you wouldn't be able to tell what's cracking off or what's in there. That's the window just shut in. Anything here? No. Pots. Books. Seeds. Anything buried? Watson, get digging your hands in. Useless as an assistant, half the time. Right, okay. Anything here? No. Anything with the old magic eye as such? No. And this comes out. Oh, okay. Here. Nobody here. I want to try out the try people with the dialogue options. Probably could have took a quicker route, I bet you, somewhere. Nobody here, is he? No. Okay. Oh, I think I took the wrong route here, didn't I? And I should have took uh, an alternate route because this appears to be one of the longest routes I could have taken. Ah! We must have some dialogue. I perceive that you are passionate about the Royal Navy. 
Passionate? No, not really. I like ships, that is all. Are you quite sure? You do not seem to be so interested in plants. It's difficult, that's all. My future is here. It has never been about anything else. Mm. And yet, I know that the Royal Naval College rejected your application. Ah, oh, you truly are as clever as they say. Ah. Yes, that's correct. And in fact, my father was strongly against the idea. He did his best to ruin my plans, although I almost did succeed. But my dreams were shattered, Mr. Holmes. Mm. Thank you, young man. We shall see you again soon. Could be a good motive for murder, potentially. Don't know. Is it though? So we've done that. That's a dialogue. We've got no other options. Excuse for this me, time. but I have to no. tidy up this room. All right, easy, easy. So the other two must be for this guy. What is your opinion of Albert as a student of botany? He's useless. I often tell him so, and I can only give him cleaning tasks. Botany is not his life's work, and his father well knew it. He was This guy about. seems quite angry. He was. Frustrated. Oh, yes. He forced his son to work here, and he never missed an opportunity to criticize him publicly. Are you able to elaborate on that? Well... For example, with our last exhibition here, Mr. Dunn had Albert make a presentation speech. But then, while the lad was speaking, Mr. Dunn interrupted him, asking him difficult questions, making him look like a failure. It was with the intention of making a fool of him, Mr. Holmes. Okay. That must have been terribly humiliating. Yes, he was crushed, and he had to leave. Everybody was making fun of poor Albert. That is, except for Miss Margaret White, who is such a nice lady and who always takes pity on Albert. Okay. You mentioned a Miss White. Would you tell us more about her? She is a student who works here part-time. She is quite charming indeed. She possesses a great talent for botany. You should take a look at some of her experiments that she carried out in the laboratory. Ah, if only she were not so naive. Why naive? The way she used to flutter around Mr. Montague Dunn. And he... why, he couldn't help but be flattered by all her attention. Okay. How could an intelligent woman such as Miss White not see through his game? I can only scratch my head and wonder. Well, we know she was kind of using Mr. it to Mr. was someone from your family connected with Kew Gardens? Family? No. I'm the only one with a passion for botany. Hmm. I do not think so. <coughs> this photograph of you and your father at Kew Gardens suggests the opposite. <sighs> but you have no right to. Do tell us more about your father. He was, indeed, the greatest botanist of his time in the British Empire. He worked together with Montague Dunn until the end of his life. He brought me in at the age of twelve. Did he get on well with Mr. Dunn? No, oh, I couldn't say that. They expanded Kew Gardens together, that was all. And it was all my father's work. For Dunn always lived the high life. So Mr. Dunn was not helping your father? Oh, yes. He provided the financial support. And as far as he was concerned, that fulfilled his role. Mm. But the worst of it was, he declared himself as the master of Kew Gardens. Fame meant nothing to my father. So it was easy for Mr. Dunn to take all the credit. Yeah, fair enough. There is a bust of Montague Dunn in the nursery. A bust? Oh, that old thing. Further proof of that outrageous ego. <laughs> but why in that room, in particular? Oh, I, I don't know. It, it has always been there. It is strange, because I recovered a fragment of the bust inside the colonial collection room. Really? Oh, well, so I'm mistaken. <laughs> it ought to have been removed during the cleanup. This room is so small. Hmm. Do you know who moved it? I have no idea. Surely Mr. Dunn requested it. 
Do you have any more questions like this? Because fragments of rock are not my responsibility. <laughs> Evidently. <laughs> ah, Thank yeah. you, Mr. Hamish. We shall continue our investigation. Okay. Mine Palace. Let's have some links. Ah, oh, wow. Okay. None of those. Martin Hamish had a motive. Believe that he and his father and the arms had been ruined by Dunn. They were taking the credit for all of their work. Hamish wished to take over the directorship, but he knew it would not be possible with him still alive. Okay. Well, they're all singles, not like doubles, where you got to choose. Margaret White's social situation would completely depend on Montague Dunn's wealth. Yeah, kind of. Okay. Albert had motive to kill his father. Yeah, because he stopped him joining the Navy. Albert could have had his revenge and eventually succeeded his father's place in Dutch Kew Gardens. Okay. We've done that one. That's it then. None of those are linking up to each other. So more clues are to be found. Interesting. Right. We've got to go to the archives now, and then I do believe we have to collect Toby. Use Toby to track strange scent from the laboratory. Okie dokie. Right, I think... Oh, come on. Let's get to the archives, Baker Street. We can grab Toby at the same time. And if Watson is looking at that woman through the telescope again, I won't be impressed. Caught him looking through the telescope last time. Oh, I missed the uh, mouse button cue. He's there, look. Look at him. And she's still at the window. Someone should take Toby for a walk. Have you yes, found well. something interesting? Okay, right, archives. Ooh, letters. This is where I keep my... Letters. We've got some new letters. Lady Brackensall's confession. Let's press my Okay. Ah, so that's the last one. We sorted. Murder at the Roman Baths. These are the previous cases that we've we've done. I didn't know these were here. Ah. Wow. Okay, so we got hanged. Yesterday, correct. We got, so this is the train one that went missing. Ah, I'm not sure it's disappeared. Route seven. Ah, so that's that's part of that one. Okay. Grotesque murder. This is one that Black Peter. Okay. So these are letters re re relating to the... This is where I keep my post. ...previous crimes. Ah, okay. Harpooner's Revenge. So these are all the ones I've done. Wow, okay. Right, I need to look up... ...symbol. Glyph means divine, if I'm not mistaken. So I've got to search the archives... 
search. Ah. So it won't be newspapers. Encyclopedias. Antiquities. Could it be that? Or that? That is not the one I need. Okay. That is not the one I need. Ah. Oh, architect. That is not no. the one I need. Ah. That is not the one I need. Arch oh, uh, economic sciences, no. Technology, no. History. Ooh, history. Could be. That's oriental symbol. That is not the one no. I need. Medicine. Botany. That is not the one I. That is not the. That is not. That is not. That is not the one I need. Oh. Newspapers. That is not no. the one I need. <laughs> Cannibals. Precious. That stolen. is not the one I need. That is not the one. I... That is not the one I. That is not the okay. one. Okay. Strange. English Art Club. Swine Globsters. That's an interesting one. That is not. No. The... Hmm. I don't know. Don't. East Africa. Malaria. I don't know. Research chemistry. Poisons and toxins. That is not the no. one I need. That is not the one I need. No. Broken flower pots. Martial arts. Marks and symbols. Ah. Glyph means divine. Divine syndicate. Ah. Okay. Must be. God, that took long enough. <clears throat> Natural world generous donations are <laughs> appreciated. Okay. Try and release themselves from the material world. And yet, general donations are accepted. Here it is. The Divine Syndicate is not a supplier to Kew Gardens. Besides, there is no address here. Okay. So now I've got to look up what? Brusted complaint against Q an old case that had been published in the newspapers. 1889. So newspapers. 1889. That one. That was an easy one, wasn't it? Divine Syndicate. 48 Grosvenor Street. Protectors of plants, more particularly trees. Interesting. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Here it is. Kid, okay. And here is the Divine Syndicate's address. Perfect. It is time to find out what they have against Montague Dunn. So, Ed. Wow. 
I'm supposed to be reducing these, and I've just added another one to it. I think now, since I'm here, get Toby. Come on, dog. <coughs> so we still got to, we got to go to them now. So I'm gonna get Toby and get to Kew Gardens. Come on, Toby. Come on, Let's Toby. Let's go. We have some work for you to do. Let us go to Kew Gardens. Yeah. With the dog. Look at him. Let us take Toby to the laboratory. He will pick up the scent of this mysterious substance. Search, Toby. Search. Hey, we get to play Toby. Follow the scent. Oh, out the door. Okay. It's going out the door. Oh. I can open doors now, can I? Last time it was uh, getting Sherlock to open it. Right. Follow the smell. Just go and bite his leg now. Okay. Where are we heading? This is interesting. Not quite where I was expecting to be being led. Okay. Okay. Mm. Okay. Congratulations, Toby. Now let's see what we've found. What we found. found. Are we? A hidden bottle. This is the bottle that was used in. Oh, I cut Holmes off there. Whoops. There is still some liquid remaining in the bottle, with. Gold flakes, a tiny caterpillar. Not surprising to see one in a garden, but at the bottom of a bottle. Oh, I caught Holmes off there. Whoops. Okay. So we have some dialogue. Oh no, not chemical analysis. Oh, heck. right. All right, Toby. Brave Toby, the best nose in the British Empire. It's not letting me move anywhere. All right, so will he know about this pot? Are you aware of the Divine Syndicate? <clears throat> the Divine what? Is this a joke? No, I am quite serious. What a ridiculous name. Anyway, I have never heard of this syndicate. Thank you, Mr. Hamish. We okay. shall continue our investigation. Still showing dialogue. Uh, so we have... We have that woman. And we have that man. This is properly like a maze. Okay. Can't remember where that woman was. I think I turned left when I should have turned right or whatever, I think. She's in here, isn't she? That's right. The Divine Syndicate. Does that name mean anything to you, by any chance? 
Not at all. But it is a very pretty name. <laughs> Thank you, miss. <laughs> well, that was pretty useless, wasn't it? Now oh, then, that other geezer. Where is he? I've forgotten. Uh, I think he's at the top end of these, isn't he? So we'll have to go all the way through them, if I remember correctly. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Yeah. I need to remember a better way to get to these people. Tell me, have you ever heard of the Divine Syndicate? No, I cannot say that I have. Oh, okay. Thank you, young man. We shall see you again soon. So, all of them say they don't know. Okay. Maybe I'll find out here on that one, but there's no one else here that I need to speak to, is there? There's only these three. Toby's still there. So... We've got chemical analysis and speak to the device. Let's try and do the chemical analysis first. It might give us something, an extra dialogue. I hate these chemical analysis things. Let us determine just what we have found here. Let us pour liquid from the bottle into a test tube to perform an analysis. Okay. This is the bottle that we This is the bottle that we found hidden at Kew Gardens. Let us use a pipette ah. to take a sample. That's not what it said. A colorless water based liquid. Okay. Quite a strong floral aroma. Holmes? What are you doing? <laughs> it has a bitter taste. <laughs> what if it's poisonous? <laughs> Did you ever see poison stored in enormous uh, jars like really? that? Anyway, there is a doctor nearby. So, what do you think it is? <laughs> it is some kind of organic compound. Let us vaporize the liquid and see what happens. That's brilliant. Okay. Small colorless crystals. Colorless, tiny crystals that are soluble in water, with a floral smell and a bitter taste. Watson, could you pass me that small bottle, please? Of course. Here you are. Uh, Holmes, do you know what it is? Wagner's reagent. There was a label on the bottle that you passed to me. No, Holmes, I meant the bottle that we found. Let me add the reagent and see if there is any sediment, and then I shall tell you. I need to take a pipette and make several drops of the reagent. Oh no, I hate this. Red sediment. 
just as I suspected. This liquid is of organic origin. Okay. It contains some alkaloid. Most likely it is unstable, and that is why there is a quantity of gold dust to prevent contamination. Hmm. This mixture is probably a fertilizer. Someone was carrying out unusual experiments in the garden's laboratory. Okay. Interesting. This is right. It's right, we have a bottle of us, kidding in the bushes. Okay. So, my only other option now is to go to the Divine Syndicate. <coughs> Are these going to be pleasant people or not? I wonder. I mean, they're supposed to be protectors of plants, but they do sound a bit nutty. I reckon, don't they? This place is beautiful, Holmes. Its atmosphere is remarkably soothing. Let us find ah. someone who could help us. Interesting. Hmm. Just look rather pretty. What's the magic eye show us anything? Doing Tai Chi? There, look. I mean, technically, I'm assuming I shouldn't have probably really come this way. Talk to the guru. Good day to you, sir. My name is Shul. I am exalting the sap. A while can you wait? From the trace of elements and moreover, from the quality of the ambient geotropism it depends. Therefore, please, mind my gravitropism. Its balance. Do not disturb. Disturbed is most definitely the word. <laughs> What's it? Completed is the symbiosis. Welcome you are. To introduce myself, I shall. I am the Green Grand Mystic. Talks like Yoda. The, the Green Grand Mystic himself. This is me. Who am I speaking to? We are two gentlemen who are extremely interested in the uh, uh, vegetation philosophy that is advocated by this establishment. Listening to you, I am. We should like to take a look around, to immerse ourselves in the wisdom that emanates from here. Hmm. It is a school of anastomosis, the divine scholastic syndicate for vegetation veneration and meditation. You may say, the divine syndicate. Glory to the eukaryotic. <laughs> Only okay. true devotees, those whose hearts are ready to spermatophize, in sharing of knowledge, are permitted to physically enter our vegetable kingdom and its wisdom. And to be permitted, you must earn it. Yes. Okay. Hmm. Let's just squish your pots. We visited Kew Garden, <coughs> and we found your symbols on their flower pots. Coincidence, I am thinking. They would scavenge our refuse. It would not surprise me. It was merely an observation. Mm. Oh, portrait. That's it. Oh, 
Oh, hello. Palm injury, acid burn. Well, we will leave you to your meditation. Yeah, because I want to go and check out that pot what I found first. Which is that? Fragments of a flower pot. It fell down here. Royal Botanic Gardens Q. Q Gardens symbol. Okay. What are you doing with those? Ah, oh, and the dialogue option has disappeared for the broken pots. Okay. Very nice. They really have done an awesome job with the scenery and the graphics. It looks proper. I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can take like a screenshot. No, oh, I can't. Anything here? Switch characters, deduction space, run, case book. Third first or third person. Nah, nothing about taking a screenshot, which is a shame. When you've got like scenery like this around you. Um, oh, that allows me to take a screenshot. Let me try that. Do we still have the ready option? Yes, we do. Do you have friends <coughs> at Kew Gardens? None. Not worthy there. Rude. Nevertheless, we have seen Kew Gardens flower pots in your yard. How could they happen to be there? What? Our sacred place you permitted yourself to search. Sacrilege. No, oh, really now. There was a theft of plants at Kew Gardens a matter of days ago, and we believe the pots we found here may be connected with it. Please tell us, were you involved? No. Those plants were ours. They had stolen them from us. How so? Mm. Uh, their director, Dump, I believe. Dump. Um, <laughs> yes, that's, that's Dump. what I said. He <laughs> borrowed from us three of our sisters for the exhibition at his green-fly-infested gardens. But he never gave them back to us. Excuses and imbecility. So we went in and saved them. I see. So if you stole those rare plants from them, then it means... Ah, I get it. Bravo, Holmes. I think the case is solved. No, we did not steal. We saved. Well, as a matter of fact, we were unable to find our three plants. I beg your pardon. And yet you took all of the exotic plants. Okay, trust them. They had disappeared. It was the least we could do. They stole our sisters, and so we stole theirs. Okay. Green Grand Mystic, we are ready to become devotees and gain access to your temple. What is the name of our Lord, our God King? Our 
Our God King's name is Triwa, Green Grand Mystic. Oh la, good, good, I like you. <laughs> Here is the holy key to the wisdom. I should have chased something out of the thought, but I've got no save. Thank you so much. <clears throat> I pray you to taste our fertilizer substance. From the burdens of life, it helps to free. Uh, but of course. Raw sap, it is called. It is near the entrance. Oh, okay. Well, we will leave you to your meditation. Right. What have we got here? Done that one. Okay, we have a two option one here. The sect stole everything. Divine Syndicate stole all plants from exhibition, including deadly species. They could have used them in order to murder Monty. I don't think they did. investigate any more then. Oh, it's getting a bit rubbish. Find a use for the key. What was that about that stuff at the entrance? What was he on about here? Ah okay so that just takes us to exit. Very nice. Can I ring the bell? Oh, that's a bit mean. Let me ring the gong. Get my hopes up. But don't let me ring the bell. Oh, hello. Benefactors. The list of plant friends and benefactors. Lawyers, well known manufacturers, political leaders. Nobody we know. This door is locked, but I can try to open it. No, because there's somebody there. We might enrage somebody. Look, stupid. This must be Triwan, the Divine Syndicate's god. Okay. He hasn't said anything about us just walking straight across in front of him. Ooh. I shall be there in a minute. Drugs that table. should be the raw sap that the Green Grand Mystic spoke of. Mm, raw sap. Hmm. This is rather delicious and of an excellent quality. <laughs> word, Holmes. Their sap is like a form of cocaine. Interesting. Hey. Well, my vision's not gone funny after taking that, so. Right, down the middle now. Anything to read here? No. 
out of the way, Watson. Adapt. We'll speak to the adapt in a minute. It's not told me to have a look at this. All right. You came to make a donation? Glory to Tree One! Osmosis and photosynthesis. Is that it? Oh, okay. What's in here? Being a sly trap. Caterpillars. Caterpillars. They are raised as food for certain plants. Let's take them. Don't take them all. It's a bit obvious we've nabbed something in it. Okay. Why would you take all of them, though? I mean, that's a bit obvious, isn't it? Do not touch. A tropical plant. Nothing of interest. A tropical plant. Nothing of interest. Venus flytraps aren't technically a tropical plant. But I won't. Uh... Wow. Okay. That's that Florum diabolica that we did them test thingies on, isn't it, or something? That's not Venus flytrap. Somebody's been tampering here. These three plants are identical to the ones shown at the exhibition. I shall take them. <laughs> I will just take them then. <laughs> Can we do that? Oh dear. Okay. Oh, not another experiment. Oh, blimey neck. It's a bit obvious when you're walking out with like three blooming plants under your arm, isn't it? A tropical plant, nothing of interest. A tropical plant, nothing of interest. <laughs> A tropical plant, nothing of interest. A tropical plant, nothing of interest. Being a fly trap is not tropical. Now, am I going to incur the wrath if I pick this lock? What do you reckon? This door is locked, but I can try to open it. Here we go. Uh, oh, crikey. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, so that hasn't got anything for the middle. What have we got? That sort of kind of lines up there, doesn't it? Okay. 
That's not lining up, is it, very well? <clears throat> so... That has to be that, doesn't it? Because that all sort of kind of lines up. No. That sort of kind of does, doesn't it? not getting upset so that's fine wow a bit dark in here anybody got a torch these instruments are used for smoking opium okay opium done Okay, chemistry cupboard. This substance is an alkaloid, the same as in the bottle we found in the bushes at Kew Gardens. Perfect, mm. Watson. We can begin our experiment. No, we'll just take that as well then, shall we? This cabinet is full of chemicals. They are the same as the ones we found in the laboratory at Kew Gardens. Okay. That would be enough to perform the most difficult of chemical experiments. Interesting. So things are kind of pointing towards these guys, potentially. A vast amount of opium. Set up our client. So that is us done here, pretty much, I think. Osmosis. Yeah, he's still out of it. And we've examined the pots. And we found those from the I assume this guy hasn't. Follow my path, and better you will fear. He just talk like Yoda. Okay. That's pretty much it then. I suppose. I suppose it's Baker Street for chemical analysis. <clears throat> oh, cool. That was nice and quick. Not too bad. Watson's doing Tai Chi now. Thought I was the one that sampled the dodgy drugs. This 
green, grand, mystic fellow seems rather suspicious, Holmes. What says, should we do next, Holmes? Says Watson, doing Tai Chi. This green, grand, mystic fellow seems rather suspicious. What should we do next? I'm afraid I'm going to spend an age at this blooming table now. I imagine that one of these plants would be capable of releasing a toxic vapor. I need to find out exactly how it could be done. I shall begin now. Watson, if you are at all optimistic to have dinner this evening, then I'd recommend that you put on the gas mask. <laughs> okay. So let's start. Let's start with the old. A carnivorous plant. Let's start with the old guy in here. What does that do? Ew. This plant becomes inactive after being drenched with alkaloid. Okay. I find the behavior of predators utterly fascinating. <laughs> A prickly plant. So what does that one do? This plant becomes inactive after being drenched with alkaloid. Okay. Oh. It appears to open after being soaked with alkaloid. Have a caterpillar. <laughs> How interesting. What a strong and effective defensive mechanism. Okay. It closed again. I believe I saw a small cloud of gas. I wonder what <clears throat> secrets this plant is hiding. Perhaps if we agitate it to a greater extent whilst it is opened, it will reveal a little more. I am interested in what might occur if the prickly plant should shoot at it. Okay. So we need to open it up. It appears to open after being soaked with alkaloid. Put a caterpillar on here. That will nab it. Ooh, toxic gas with spores. Extraordinary. Mm. Well, I didn't take long. That's cool. The plants would be capable of killing only if they were directly next to the victim and stimulated at precisely the right moment. Let us take our caterpillars to the colonial collection room. We may see things more clearly there. It is too early, Watson. Our suspects will be there. Let us investigate Kew Gardens one more time and ask some questions. Okay. Let's have a look. Albert's lack of experience. Albert is not very good at botany. It is doubtful that he could have learned how the plants might release their deadly spores. Albert had the biological knowledge to stimulate the <coughs> Albert's the young lad, the son that didn't go in the Navy, isn't he? I don't think he's got, but he could have the science background. Couldn't he? He could have the science background though, he might not have the botany. If 
advise him to get left the plants at Kew Gardens in order to mon murder which you have to date to date. Someone stole the deadly plants before the plant was able to. I think so at the moment. I think she does. Okay. I think we need to do more investigations. We're certainly cracking on though. We've got to talk to all suspects. Okay. Um, so that's back to Kew Gardens. Can you tell me if you saw Mr. Montague Dunn on the day of his death? Yes, of course. I met him, and we went to see Albert, his son, at around half past nine. He appeared quite calm. Okay. What were you doing on the morning of the accident? After paying multiple visits to Albert, I had a little talk with Miss White. Then I returned to my desk to complete some paperwork. Suddenly, I observed that Mr. Dunn was not feeling well, so I ran immediately to fetch Albert. I clearly remember that it was around half past ten, for I was late that mm. morning. Thank you, Mr. Hamish. Yeah. We shall continue our investigation. Right. Uh... See, I remembered this time that he's just up here. Your father's death does seem highly suspicious. What were your movements here on that day? Suspicious? Well, I was working in the seed house, taking care of a uh, lice, uh, something, or, or Lear, Pontus, or... No, wait. Ah, oh, these Latin names. And I spent so many hours trying to memorize them. Did you see your father that day? Yes, he came here with Mr. Hamish. See, so this guy hasn't visit. got the botanical There's knowledge. Nothing unusual about that. And then? Nothing. They stepped out to the backyard. It was perhaps 20 minutes before 10 o'clock. Then about 10 minutes later, I saw my father heading for the dry tropics room while Mr. Hamish returned here. And Mr. Hamish and Miss White, what were they both doing that morning? Mr. Hamish visited me a couple of times. I also saw him returning from talking with Miss White, and that was at ten minutes past ten. But then he ran back here to me, to tell me that my father was feeling unwell. We hurried across to the water lily room, and I found my father lying dead on the floor. Oh my god. Thank you, young okay. man. We shall see you again soon. Okay. Interesting.
Can you tell question? me what Mr. Dunn was doing upon the day of his death? <clears throat> I can. But there is nothing very special to say. I was in the laboratory when I saw Mr. Dunn heading towards me. Tuesday is the day of his weekly visit. It was supposed to be at nine, but he was ten minutes late, as usual. And then? Well, he came in to say good morning. Then I saw him spend two or three minutes by the plants outside the laboratory. After that, he ran out in the direction of the nursery, where Mr. Hamish was working. He was always in a rush during the inspection, you see. I would pity anyone who stood in his way. Okay. And that was the last time you saw him? Yes. I stayed in the laboratory until 20 minutes to 11, when I heard the cries of Albert and Mr. Hamish from the large glass house. I joined them as soon as I could, for I knew that something must be very wrong. What exactly were you doing in the laboratory? I was recording an experiment for my thesis. I only stopped my work once when Mr. Hamish visited me briefly around 10 o'clock. Mm. You say you were recording an experiment when the tragedy occurred. Might I listen to the role? Oh, certainly. Please do. You will find it in the laboratory. It is number 320. Uh, thank you, miss. Everyone has gone, Holmes. The way is clear. Okay, so what have we got to do? So I've got to determine the correct sequence of events. So he inhales, knocks that off, staggers across, tries to get out the door. Yep. I reckon that's right. When Montague Dunn was standing close by the plants, the caterpillars were released and caused the deadly spores to activate. Panicking, and likely already half asphyxiated, Montague Dunn started back and knocked over the bust. He rushed to the door, but it was locked. He had to force it open with his shoulder. We already know the outcome. Montague Dunn collapsed and died not far from the pool. Well, it is time to perform our experiments on the ventilation system. Okay, so... The caterpillars could only fall from the ventilation duct. Our caterpillars are in place. I'll activate the ventilation system so that they fall down. Watson, stay here and observe. All right, Holmes. So I've got to follow the ventilation shaft. It goes that way into that one. I can't get out here, can I? So is this the one? No. OK. 
Okay. There we are. That's where it comes out. So it heads into that one. So it's heading into here. There's a lever here. It's not telling me to trigger it though, is it? So, I guess I don't need to do anything. It's going across here. Wow, how far? From here, we are unable to see the interior. That's not happening either. And we're here. Okay. The power is on. The engine has started. The ventilation system is working. So do I now have to go back to what's... I think I was up over here, wasn't I, somewhere? This place is a blooming maze. Now we need to see if we can activate the fans from Mr. Hamish's and Albert's space. Ah. Now you say. So. But I've seen those, haven't I? And it wouldn't let me do anything with them. Annoyingly. Ah. I've already seen the levers too, haven't I? We can see the interior of the Colonial Collection Room from this window. Excellent. This ventilation fan is working. Let us see if I can activate the other one. So, if somebody wanted to do it from here, yeah, they could activate the plant or something here, or or put the plant near him. That activates that, that drops down, triggers the plant, gasses him. I think that's what we're going for. Okay. Now you see this one, we know we can't see the thing. We can't here, see. We are unable to see the interior of the colonial collection room. So we wouldn't know it's there. Perfect. Now I just need to find Watson to check the result. 
It works perfectly, Holmes. <laughs> now, now, if you could just help me to get rid of these caterpillars. Perfect. Now we know how the murder of Montague Dunn was carried out by activating both Albert's and Mr. Hamish's fans. But only from Mr. Hamish's workplace would it be possible to see when Montague Dunn entered the colonial collection room. That doesn't necessarily mean he's done it. See that? Now that's blocked out her. Oh, what? That makes no sense at all. Is that it? Is that all clues found? Well, having that blocks out everything. What on earth? That's Martin Hamer. Let's go to Scotland Yard. Okay. Is it Martin Hamish then? Is that literally the only person it can be? Because getting that one blocked out that young woman and I weren't able to choose her. Wasn't it? By having that one, it blocked out this lady here. Because it's only the one clue. That makes no sense at all. Inspector, I believe that Martin Hamish is guilty of the murder of Montague Dunn. Aha! I knew it! I'll send the lads around to arrest him. Very good. I shall wait to hear from you. Hey. 
Not sure about that. No. I had no option though. I don't think his son had the knowledge. She did. But when that thing about Martin Hamish come up, you choose it, it blocks her out. So the only other person can be, if it's not the syndicate, is Martin Hamish. Inspector, I came here as quickly as I could. Martin Hamish is in the large glass house. There's no need to hurry. Martin Hamish is in the large glass house. There's no need to hurry. Why is there no need to hurry? What do you mean no need to hurry? Holmes, oh, my okay. God. Yes, we found him like that. Our messing around with the ventilation system didn't go unnoticed. Mr. Hamish realised that we knew. Inspector, could you arrange the body, please? I should like to examine it. Okay. Mm -hmm. The mark around the neck is very visible. He died instantly. Okay, let me just... Uh... Hold on a second, I need to do something else. Oh, that's better, right. So, we have a letter. <clears throat> Alright, how scum of living hell. Find it unbearable. Don't deserve to die, but I cannot forgive myself for having his blood upon my hands. Mm. Don't know. Holmes, his left shoe is unique. This anomaly is often a characteristic of a club foot. Bravo, Watson. That is the key element of this case. Okay. We still we still gotta find it. Where's the letter? Ah, that's it there, yes, we've read that. So So was this somebody else? Where's the stride gone? There is he, Watson. The stride. There we go. Duh. Something about this rings very oddly. Why do you say that, Mr. Holmes? Why? Because of Mr. Hamish's club foot. Oh, I deserve to be kicked from here to Charing Cross. I should have noticed it. But, Mr. Holmes, I can't see why. No, I don't suppose you do. He couldn't you have run from one to the Dunn other. was locked inside the colonial collection room by the murderer. If it was Mr. Hamish, he would have had to run up to his workplace to trigger the fan situated above it, taking into consideration the condition of his foot. Well, it is still possible. Perhaps, but it is rather strange that such a person as Mr. Hamish decided to base his plan on the speed of his gait. Could, you mean to say that somebody say. helped him? So the suicide is questionable? Correct. Mr. Hamish accuses only himself in his letter, and so the investigation stops. <laughs> no, Possibly no, it an accomplice, doesn't. then? That idea had not occurred to me, Mr. Holmes. I have another idea, Inspector. Thanks to the testimony that we have collected, we are able to rebuild the events as they took place that day. With a timeline? 
such as we did in the Jack the Ripper case. Precisely. Mm. The map at the entrance of Kew Gardens should help us with our timeline. Okay. Let us analyze the facts and statements so that we may recreate the events of that morning. Ah, oh, crikey. Martin Hamish, Montague Don, or Dune, went to meet Albert in the sea downs at around half past nine. Yeah, it was at around 20 minutes to 10 when they went out to the backyard. Ten minutes. Dunn recommends his inspection entered the dry tropics room. Hamish returned to the seed house. So that's done. Dry tropics. And there, there. Martin Hamish had a conversation with her in the lab. At ten o'clock. Miss Wright was in the lab until 10.40 when she saw those three and joined them there till 10.40. Hamish ran to Albert as soon as he observed that what had done was unwell, which was around 10.30. I was in the seed house in time morning. You observed Hamish doing from Bruce to Miss White ten minutes past ten. So he's got to be ten past ten. I was in the seed house the entire morning. Ah, okay. So we're stuck. Okay, so we're stuck here. Albert saw Hamish returning from visiting Miss White. That one? Something happening at ten past ten. Twenty to ten. After ten minutes. Doing recommendations inspection. So that's twenty. So twenty minutes to ten, so that's nine forty. Ten. 
10 o'clock. Here we saw it Albert. So, when did Albert see Hamish returning? Okay, it was around 20 minutes to 10 when Hamish and Montague Dunn went out to the backyard. So that's 9.40. Okay, after 10 minutes he recommenced his inspection and entered the dry tropics house. Yeah. Hamish returned to the seed house. That'll be it. We're still stuck here. Oh, man. Let's take these off. Right, Martin Hamish and Montague Dunn went to meet Albert at the seed house at around half past nine. Yep, half past nine. It was at around 20 minutes to 10, 9.40, when Hamish and Montague Dunn went out to the backyard. Yeah. After 10 minutes, Dunn recommenced his inspection and entered the dry tropics room. That's him alone in the dry tropics room at Tantu. Hamish returns to the seed house. Correct. Right. Martin Hamish had a conversation with Miss White at 10 o'clock. Martin Hamish talking with Miss White at 10 o'clock. Miss Wright was in the lab until 10.40. When she saw Hamish and Albert in the water lily. So does that need to be there? Till 10.40 when she saw Hamish and Albert in the water lily greenhouse and joined them there. Hamish ran to Albert as soon as he observed that he was unwell which was around 10.30. Albert was in the seed house the entire morning. I observed Hamish to him at ten past ten. Okay. Okay. It's a ten past ten one. Now. 
now. June recommended inspection of dry crops and Amy's return to the seed house. Martin and Amish had a conversation with Miss Wright at 10 o'clock. Yeah? Ah, uh. so is that does that need to go there? Does everyone need to have uh, one in it? Does it? Okay. See, he, I, I think, is there. Don't know. It's like in all the events up until about ten past ten. Central to drive pop his hand. Hamish returned to the seed house. Martin Hamish had a conversation with Miss White at 10 o'clock. There. So we got that. They're talking with Martin Hamish in the lab. Miss White was in the lab until 10.40. When she saw Hamish and Albert into Water Lily, ten forty, and she joined them there. So ten forty, that's them there. So that's correct. Is it that? I don't think it is. I don't know. I'm okay, I think, up until... My Hamish done meet Albert in the seat house around half past nine. Yep. It was around 20 minutes to 10 when Hamish and Montague went out to the backyard. 
Yes. After ten minutes, Dunn recommends his inspection enter the dry tropics house. Hamish returned to the seed house. Yes. Martin Hamish had a conversation with Miss White at ten o'clock. Miss White was in the lab until 10.40 when she saw Hamish and Albert in the water lily greenhouse and joined them there. So, until 10.40. So she was in the lab till 10.40. And join them there. So that's got to be that one there. Hamish ran to Albert as soon as he observed that Montague was unwell, which was around 10.30. You see, he was in the seed house the entire morning. He observed Hamish returning from visiting Miss White 10 minutes past 10. So that's got to be the 10 minute past 10 one. Hamish ran to Albert as soon as he observed Montague was unwell, which is around 10.30. And then he's... That's got to be correct. But it says, but it says, Albert saw Hamish returning from visiting Miss White. Albert was in the seed house. He observed Hamish returning from visiting Miss White at 10 minutes past 10. So that's got to be correct. Right, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, exit. And I'm going to do the timeline at some other point because it's already a one, one hour 43. So I'm going to uh, escape here and I shall catch you later.